Hey y'all, I'm Spider-Mom1978. Welcome to my web. Hey y'all, in this video we are going to take a look at the Formictibus Cancerides. This is Umber, U-M-B-E-R, Umber is my beautiful Formictibus Cancerides. And as you can see, Umber took down that superworm like an absolute champ. And just so you know, if you don't have Formictibus at all, Formictibus always have a feeding response like this. To me, that makes it more enjoyable, more exciting. If you don't like a tarantula with a feeding response like this, just keep that in mind. But, absolutely amazing eaters. The only time I don't get them to have a feeding response like this is when they are in pre-molt. Now, they are from Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Cuba, and other parts of the Caribbean. As you can see, the coloration is absolutely stunning on these babies. It looks like they are covered in glitter and gold flakes. Just look at the glistening femurs. It looks like there's glitter on the legs. That beautiful abdomen coloration with a hint of red. Absolutely stunning. I'm just trying to show you every part of this spider so you can just enjoy and admire the beauty of this one. It literally looks like it was just dusted in gold flakes. Do you see? Look at look at all that glistening. And this only gets brighter and more vivid as they get older. As formictibus get older, like I said, their coloration gets brighter and more in your face. So just imagine what they look like as adults. This is a sub-adult. They get to, as adults, they get to seven to eight inches. So they are a pretty sizable tarantula. You know, they're not the average size. So seven to eight inches is a good size tarantula. A good showpiece tarantula. If you want a tarantula sitting in your living room for everybody to see when you know when they walk in, this is one because the size and coloration, feeding response, everything just screams, Look at me, I am amazing. Now I can't remember if I talked about the longevity, but the males live four to five years, the females up to fifteen years. Now, these are New World Terrestrials. Very, very easy to take care of. Just have a hide in um, Umber's enclosure. I have a giant half log. Um, so, it's got plenty. I have over half, well, almost half of the enclosure is a hide because it's a log. On the other side, I have sphagnum moss. And whenever I go to water umber, I just overfill the water for a couple of seconds. And that's pretty much it. You don't need it super wet. You don't need it super moist. You just need a little humidity. And that's it. Um, they are opportunistic burrowers. But this umber prefers not to burrow. Umber stays out pretty much all the time. Um, very seldomly will I see umber under this log here. So, I think I've covered all the basics of this amazingly beautiful tarantula. If you have any questions about this tarantula, 
make sure and put it in the comments below. If you haven't done so, please go ahead and click that bell icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. So just look. We're just going to gaze at this beauty for a few more seconds. Just how can you not, how can you not love such an amazingly beautiful spider? But anyway, we're going to go ahead and end it. I wanted to take a moment to thank you all again for supporting my videos, supporting me, being such an amazing family to me. I've got some amazing friends and family and y'all mean the world to me. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you're at. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. Much love to you all. Bye-bye.